Hey YouTube, this is Texer for 2010 coming at you with another tech video. And today we're going to be uh, showing you a quick example of Excel VLOOKUP. It's an Excel function. So the first thing we need to do is we need to grab some sample data. In this case, we have 50 state capitals uh, coming out, coming from Wikipedia. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in. Then I'm going to remove some data because we don't need all this extra stuff. Okay, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so you can see it. Okay, I'm going to expand out the cells. a little bit prettier. Okay, we're going to need uh, a place where we can input values to cross-reference against our um, our table, our table here. So, our table of data. Excuse me. So let's do it. Uh, let's mark this as a label. Input. Let's just do this. Input. Okay. This is and G four is where we're going to go ahead and. Uh, put the input value that we want to check. So in this case, we're gonna we're gonna put a, a sample state that's gonna look up for uh, the appropriate match, and then we're gonna return whatever value that we that we whatever uh, index number of this table that we want to find the data on. So I'll I'll explain as we go. So in this case, um, that's where it's gonna go. The input. Okay, I'm gonna do the uh, result here on this particular cell. So I'm gonna hit uh, equals. You look up. Remember, when doing Excel functions, you need to hit the equals first. Okay, and then I'm going to hit left parentheses, and then I'm going to do the lookup value. In this case, like I mentioned to you before, we're going to do G4. I hit comma, and then uh, that'll take us to the next argument, which is the table array. So in this case, we can do select A, B, C, D, and E as the data. And then you're going to go ahead and hit enter, or commas, I'm sorry. And then you're going to want to find the appropriate column index. So in this case, we want to find the state abbreviations. So in this case, it's the second um, column. So that would be index 2. Okay, I want to find a, uh, an exact match. So meaning to say that uh, if I put in a value here, uh, like for example, Alabama, um, that if it's spelled slightly wrong, it's going to... Uh, yield an a, a it's not going to show a value it's going to show an a so uh, but I, I want that though so let's go and do that um, let's go and type in false for exact match okay so it's n a like I mentioned to you before there's no values inputting so let's go ahead and type in um, Alabama and then it yields the appropriate uh, uh, result because we asked for column two. So let's put uh, state abbreviation and then um, let's do a capital over here and then capital and then since. Okay, it's really easy to kind of add more values because all you got to do is just uh, take this value and then uh, fill in the rest. There, right there. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and center this, make it pretty. Okay, let's choose another value. Let's choose uh, Florida, uh, Hawaii. As you can see, the matching data corresponds. And again, how it works is you need to look up value. G4 is here. You need a table array. Table array. In this case, it's your data set. So column A to E. A to E. And then you're going to want the index number of what what column you want returned back, which is this one. So in this case, Hawaii would be column. The HI would be column from column two. And and uh, this is if you want an exact match. I'm on it. Usually I just do false because I usually want an exact match if I'm trying to reference or find something. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.